So we're actually doing this, Bri. You and I were here a little over a month ago, and now we're here actually building this, which is incredible. <laughs> like, like you mentioned before, Good. it is... <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> What's up, guys? The only reason I'm here is because I had uh, hand tools and stuff. <laughs> I didn't want to go buy new stuff. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Brian with Team Aquascape and I have some great news. I am back in sunny San Diego. The good news is the customer said yes. We're back here, we're about to start construction on our new project. Super excited to get out here. Uh, one, because it's freezing back home, literally freezing. It's about 75, 80 degrees here. But uh, I brought together a team. We've got Jack from Atlantis. We got Ralph Bizad out from Arizona. We got Chris Hansen. Foreman from Aquascape, mm -hmm. and we have other certified Aquascape contractors that are gonna be joining us sooner than later. It's awesome just to have the CAC network to tap into. So when we come out to do these types of projects, we can rely on other people to help us get this stuff done. And Chris, what are you excited about? You've seen the footage of the of the consultation, but, uh, and if you haven't, make sure you look in the link over there-ish. this way yeah. or somewhere. <laughs> Check that out, but what are you excited about doing out here? Come here, I'll show you what okay. I'm Being flat earthers in Illinois, we don't get this, right? So this great change is what I'm so excited about. Big waterfalls. Big waterfalls. Mm -hmm. That waterfall right there is gonna be amazing. So again, just kind of an overview of the project. Big waterfall there. We have a 28 foot pond, goes into an intake bay, and then a wetland filter over in there. So a couple bells and whistles. We've got some step stones over here, a bridge over there, wetland filter, intake bay, and a really large pond. This backyard is gonna be epic when we finish. The machine is here. The operator is with the machine next to actually setting the first rock. My second favorite part is this, the first scoop of earth out of the hole. You can see our pond shape right in here. The top six inches is actually decent soil, so we're gonna make a pile of that stuff over here, which we can use for backfilling purposes. All the other garbage that's below it, when I say garbage, you can already see this rock and stuff that's showing up. All of this stuff's gotta get hauled away. We just can't use this for backfill. We will definitely put holes in our liner. So we'll get rid of all that stuff. Ralph's gonna shuffle it out into the street. We'll have a giant pile of earth that's gotta get hauled out of here, and that gets hauled off on Monday. Again, the goal today, Get the pond dug, get the fabric in, the liner in, and if we can set a boulder, it would feel fantastic. Even just one. Things aren't going quite as smooth as we wanted. You can see Jack's actually doing a pretty good job digging despite the conditions. But our biggest fear was um, what were the soil conditions gonna be like down in here, especially when we saw all of the big rock bluffs kind of up into this area here. Sure enough, this soil is about as rocky as you could possibly get. This is just the garbage that's coming out out of here. So all of this stuff has to be hauled away. And Jack's just having to pick at it a little bit at a time and break it up. This used to be one big boulder and it kind of breaks and splinters apart. So the plan is we're over excavating everything then we'll come in and dust this with some sand or uh, some looser material just so there's a cushion down on the bottom because we would never be able to put our liner right on top of this kind of garbage like that. We would be at holes all over the place. So it's a little, lot of extra work but we want to make sure that uh, this thing is done correctly and is bomb proof when we leave. I think we bit off more than we can chew on this one. I'm choking. <laughs> <laughs> There 
is a lot of dirt out here. <laughs> I feel like this is not legal. Literally, probably the hardest digging conditions I've ever seen. Let me show you some of this. Solid bedrock. I mean, this stuff here, this is <laughs> solid rock all the way through. This looks like dirt, but this is all rock. You can see the veins coming through there. Solid rock, solid rock, solid rock. So that's why right now we're spreading this stuff. This is decomposed granite. It's really fine. You can see how loose this stuff is. It's almost like topsoil. And this goes down, gives us a nice cushion on the bottom. We're putting about two to three inches of that stuff all over the ponds. So we over dug everything to compensate for the amount that this stuff's gonna take up. But if we didn't do that, when we put the rocks on top of that liner, we'd really be worried about putting a hole in there. Now with this stuff, plus our thick fabric, which I'll show you next. We'll have a nice cushion on the bottom of the pond. So the next step after this is fabric. Liner. Rocks. <laughs> Those rocks. All right, guys, it's day two on our San Diego build. Yesterday, uh, we got held up a little bit with some of the digging conditions, but we got through it. So we're kind of a day off, but not really. I'm very proud of what we all got finished and accomplished yesterday, but today is a go day. We're going to drop the fabric in. We're going to drop the liner in. We're going to drop some boulders in. We're even going to start building the waterfalls. We're actually going to have to start by building this waterfalls over here first, just because if we start rocking in this whole pond and get all that done, we'll kill all of our access. So we've got to clean up this area behind us, dropping rocks in for this waterfall over in here, and then we'll get going. The other thing we're going to do is start getting this wall in over here. So we'll drop that fabric liner in, and then we're going to actually start the construction of this. Drop in a couple boulders and then use some wall stone in between. So from here all the way over past Chris gets more of a wall stone type look. And then that waterfall area that I was talking about before is right over in here. So if we can get waterfalls and this section started today, we're in good shape for finishing this project in another five days. Finally, the liner is in. So we got our rock pad down. Rock pad's a lot different than the other fabric in the sense that it's like six times the thickness. So we really put this thick, thick underlayment down as a protective membrane before the rubber liner goes down. And then we're actually gonna come in over the top of this with more fabric just to really protect this liner from all these sharp rocks and everything else that we've been dealing with. Double up, it's cheap, cheap, cheap insurance. much fun like setting these giant rocks and for me I still get excited especially when we did big ones like this like look at how cool this looks to be six eight inches out of water and then go all the way down into the bottom of our three foot deep pond here it just adds a statement and right off the main viewing area everybody's gonna see that thing Ralph ran to the store he's gonna go grab some glue but we finally got our bottom course set this was what we talked about earlier in the video of it being very very important that we make sure we we don't screw this level up because as we start stacking our rock or our brick in here we don't want to be too Two inches higher than we need to be or two inches lower than we need to be. So this was very important. I'm glad we got this done and now we can just start plowing through this wall. What'd you do today? I drove around, I went to the hardware t store twice um, hauled a lot of stuff from the back to the front. And You're wondering why I haven't had Ralph on camera much, because he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the wall, this beautiful uh, wall that is being recycled from the existing landscape. We're going to build it up and uh, cut some lights into the wall tomorrow, continue it around. It'll be part of the weir for the intake bay. And then uh, I think we're going to uh, Sealand. Chris and Ralph have about two more courses of wall before they get up to the top. The liner's going to wrap up behind it. The water level will end up being about two inches below the top of the wall. So when they finish the patio, nice cantilever, that water level is going to be right there. Really cool look. We're going to continue more of the same type of treatment over here. There's going to be more wall that wraps inside this cove, some jets back in there to move the wall 
water out. Chris is gonna be cutting some lights into the wall. That's gonna be a really awesome effect. And also we'll be tying some more in over there. Some sort of crossing, haven't decided about the bridge option yet. Could be a slab, could be a wood bridge. And then we're gonna finish up over here where the constructive wetland filter is gonna be feeding a waterfall coming into that right side. Really impressive amount of work we got done today with just the four of us. But when you have this kind of talent, it's amazing what you can accomplish in a short period of time. We will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.